and exam systems to be caught up in a tender wars that we have no country to talk about. It is a universally accepted principle that the collapse of the education system is the collapse of a nation. We believe that devaluing the integrity of our exams and certificates presents an existential threat to our country and we have to close ranks and deal with it dispassionately and professionally. We will be subjecting our children to ridicule, diminish employment, employment, especially overseas, and admission opportunities in the region and abroad if you allow the integrity of our exams and certification to be questionable. And the truth is that these are getting questioned. We have therefore written to the following bodies. One, the Catholic Bishops' Conference, two, the National Council of Churches of Kenya, three, the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, four, the Kenya Secondary Schools Heads Association, five, the Primary Schools Heads and Teachers Association, six, the Kenya National Union of Teachers, seven, the Law Society of Kenya, eight, the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, Nine, National Parents Association. Ten, the Kenya Private Schools Association. Eleven, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Twelve, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Thirteen, the Federation of Kenya Employers. We know the role of churches and other religious organizations in the education sector since the beginning of last century. We know how much effort teachers put into ensuring they mold young people into successful products that they can be proud of. The education sector does not belong to the government of the day. Integrity of the education sector is for all Kenyans. We believe that as a country and for the sake of our children, we can do better than this greed beyond measure. Virtually every home had a candidate or a new candidate among those who said KCP and KCSE. KCP alone had close to 1.4 million candidates. The steps you outlined below are critical. One, the circumstances under which the printing of the exams was transferred from the UK to Mombasa Road must be investigated. Two, Kenyans must be told how the integrity of the exams was secured during the transfer from the UK to Mombasa Road and later to another printer in Asia. Three, it is the right of Kenyans to know the cost of termination of the contract with the UK firm. Four, Kenyans must be informed of how the Mombasa Road farm was identified and awarded the tender and if procurement laws were followed. Five, Kenyans must also be informed of how the farm to relay KCP results was identified, whether it is uh, the, same, the same one that will relay the KCSE results and whether procurement laws were adhered to. Going by the fate of Auditor General Margaret Nakango, who believe political interference will not allow ESCC and DCI to deal with this matter. But to put this issue to the agencies as a matter of public record. And the warning must go out there that in another era, all will be held accountable, including these criminals. It is our position.